All right, buckle up because this is one of those stories that starts out normal and then spirals completely out of control. So there's a drug company and it tried to make medicine taste better and ended up creating something that killed over 100 people. And the wildest part, they didn't even break a law. So let me explain. Okay, so picture this. It's 1937 in America. There's jazz, soda fountains, and a brand new wonder drug, sulfonilamide. Doctors are prescribing it everywhere because it fights infections. And this is before penicillin went mainstream. And people are calling it a miracle. But then one company decides to make it taste better. This is where things go horribly wrong. They dissolve sulfonilamide in something called diethylene glycol. Sounds fancy, right? Well, it's actually just antifreeze, literally the same chemical you put in your car so that it doesn't freeze in the winter. It's sweet, it mixes easily, and at the time there were zero rules requiring companies to test medicines for safety. So they bottle it, call it elixir sulfonilamide, and they ship it all over the country. And parents give it to their kids thinking it's harmless. And within days, people start dying. One pharmacist in Oklahoma noticed several unexplained deaths tied to the same product. And that's when the alarm finally went off. But by then it was too late. Over 100 people died. And here's the part that's almost unbelievable. The company did not violate any safety law because there were none. At the time, the FDA could only regulate labeling and they couldn't regulate safety testing. So the only charge that they could bring was using the word elixir incorrectly because by definition, an elixir had to contain alcohol. And this one didn't. That was the only thing they could get on them. So public outrage exploded. Newspapers were publishing headlines daily, kind of families demanding accountability. And Congress finally realized how broken the system was. So by 1938, the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act was passed, giving the FDA the power to require safety testing before any drug reached the market. That's why today, every medication, every syrup, pill, and dropper has to go through toxicity studies and FDA approval because one company decided to use antifreeze as a sweetener. So the next time someone says drug approval takes long, you can remind them that shortcuts did once kill more than 100 innocent people. One more thing most people don't realize. This disaster didn't just change U.S. laws. It actually changed global medicine. After 1937, countries around the world rewrote their drug regulations. Pharmacists became the watchdogs of safety, and toxicology became a required field. The idea of safe until proven unsafe was replaced with unsafe until proven safe. Today, almost 90 years later, diethylene glycol contamination still pops up in other countries where regulations are weaker. So yes, the elixir sulfonilamide disaster was horrifying, but it became the turning point that shapes modern drug safety. And it's the reason your medicine cabinet today isn't full of untested chemicals. Follow for more stories like this.